New Roots Lady Kalisa joins us in this segment with a career update, including a spellbounding new video. Right now, right here on our stage, Kalisa. Big Good to have you back. Man. Give thanks. thanks. How are you? Me. I'm doing great. How well, are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I'm just eager to hear about some of the good news you bring for sure, us. Sure, sure. And what happened since the last time we spoke right here on our stage? Last year, um, I accompanied Chronics, Janine and Jesse Royal on, on their tour. It was about two months long with over 40 shows. Mm -hmm. um, that was in the beginning part of the year. We also started a series called Spellbound Sessions, yes. which, um, you know, based off of the project called Spellbound, mm -hmm. um, it was a series that we do in different cities that we, we trod to. So um, the, the ones that we focused on last year was New York and then also Kenya. So we released um, the video shortly after I came back from Kenya in January as kind of the one year celebration okay. for Spellbound, yeah. So explain Spellbound for us, the project. What's in it? Dig into it for us. Dig Open it, it up right. to us. Um, Spellbound now um, is a co-production between my own lab label, Ambassador Music, and another young production company out of Jamaica called Natural High Music. Um, they're making some awesome, awesome, awesome music, and it was you know, really a joy to be able to collaborate with them because I, I grew up with them. Okay. Um, so big up to Natural High. Spellbound really captures the sound Mm -hmm. of, of, of the project. Um, you know, there, there are different elements of it that really hints at this very ethereal, very magical feel. Mm -hmm. A lot of the themes um, are based on love. You know, um, I think in the past, you kind of know me as somebody who, you know, moved on my fire. Yes. And, but it was really now about me um, and about women in general kind of accepting their femininity mm -hmm. and, you know, being being comfortable and being confident about, you know, being loving and about being soft and powerful at mm -hmm. the same time. There's a painting surrounding this project. Definitely. Talk about it. It was done by a very good sister of mine. Her name is Nakazi. Mm -hmm. She's a half Jamaican, half Bajan artist. Phenomenal sculpture, phenomenal painting. And at the time when I was recording Spellbound, you know, um, I was linking with her quite regularly and we decided to make a piece out of it. So as I'm creating, um, you know, and letting her know about the themes within the project, she was also um, painting um, oh. during the process. So, you know, the, 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 the painting really speaks to the wisdom of a woman, you know, and that is represented by the owl, for instance. Mm -hmm. And the owl is also a symbol um, of the gateway to, to eternity, the gateway to spirituality, you know. And I also believe that that is um, one of the powers that a woman has, is that she's, be able, she's able to access um, you know, if through childbirth, um, through menstruation, through all of those kind of things, we are able to access a very um, unlimited energy, you know, and it's been undermined for, you know, we don't even know how long, you know, but this is the age that we're starting to accept women and their power for who they are and what they do, you know. So this was really an opportunity now for me to also curate a sound because I believe that when you put out a project, you don't want it to just be some tracks where you, you know you put on a CD and you call it an album. Like for me, it was really how can we curate some themes, you know, um, of knowledge and wisdom, and as I say, you know, femininity and the power that comes with that. And you know, I think it came at a great time. From an Afrocentric perspective, right? Definitely, I would and think. you know, especially from um, you know when we're dealing with the elements of sound. You know, yes. I love drums. I love drums. I, I grew up in Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, part of my high school life um, was spent in Africa, in, in East Africa, in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being exposed to the different soundscapes on the continent, you know, um, it very much became a part of my identity. For me, Kenya was a very beautiful opportunity because I was there for one whole month. You know, oh, okay. I did about four, five, five shows while I was there. But it also gave me an opportunity to collaborate with artists on the ground, collaborate with mm -hmm. producers on the ground, do, you know, an extensive media run. Living in Tanzania, I learned some Swahili. So it was a great opportunity now for me to go back to Kenya and reason with people in Swahili and try and, you know, remember some of those, um, some of the language, you know, and expand my mind beyond just music. All right, so let's take a look now at the big <laughs> video. Here it is. Wow, spellbound we are with that one from Kalisa. 
And we're going to rate that world ready, Easy. world fit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, that's Give a global that. sound. Um, oh, images and wow. Shot where? Where? Uh, where all, in, all in Jamaica, it was shot by, um, directed and edited by a young company now called Slick Studios. We collaborated with them, you know, we all got together and came in with, um, with our ideas and the concepts. Um, really just to kind of implement the idea of Spellbound, mm -hmm. you know. So we shot it first. The first one um, shot was up at Sincona Gardens, all the way up in Blue Mountains. We're really happy that we got a chance to work with the team and even to bring in the elements, um, you know, of Africa, as you say. It's, yes. And it's oh, funny yes. that it's released Very. now in a time where Africa kind of gets a little bit more popular, you know, because of this whole Black Panther mm -hmm. um, movie. You know, and I think that it um, is a great opportunity for more dialogue to happen around Africa. I mean, Rasta been saying it. Big up to, to, to the Black Panther Massive for um, kind of injecting that back in our psyche. For us to remember that we in the West, we're not forgotten. Africa love we. You know, so it's great to be able to create things like that to where we can, you know, make those subtle connections. Thank you so much for coming. All the very best. Me. Yeah, man. Love, love. All right. Yes. And we will continue to chat. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful career that you, you have there, my dear. All right, stay with us. Still to come right here on stage. We got a love situation. Who is Jada Kingdom and the legendary dub master, producer, and sound system man, King Johnny? Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on stage always.